Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art Once Wrote Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. Today we're painting lavender and we're using our reusable teaching guide and we're adding folk art multi-surface paint colors. So let's look at the colors that we're gonna to use today. Violet Pansy, Wicker White, Cobalt U, Citrus Green, and Sap Green. And the brush that we're gonna to use today is the Folk Art One Stroke number 12 flat. So these are fun. I love lavender. I think you're gonna to like to see how simple it is to paint it. The first thing we're gonna do is put our stems in. So then we can put all the small little blossoms on our stem. All right, so we're gonna use a 12 flat and we're going to, it's been wet, laid it on the paper towel, it's dry, and now I'm double loading it on my palette here. So I split the bristles to get both colors and then I go back and forth until it's up into the brush. All right, now you can see where these stems go up. Sometimes I go up and sometimes I go down. It depends on if I know exactly where the top, I want the top to be. And we are on the chisel edge. So this is your chisel edge. And so we come right over here and we see if we like the color that we loaded. And then you're gonna, on the chisel edge, you're gonna lift the edge that's going in front of you. And you're dragging those last bristles to get a thin look here. And then we have um, short little chisels right here. Oops, these are going down. There we go. And then when we have a stem here with some blossoms on it, we can come right in here and pull another stem and add more all along in here. So I want to go ahead and um, show you what that's going to look like before we put our lavender on top of it. All right, so here we are. So we're putting the stem in here and then we're gonna put all the blossoms on top of that stem. But we might come in here a few places and add more. So we wanted to make sure that this is all wiped off so we can come back and practice some more with it. All right, so we're gonna come up here. I'm gonna start right up here and pull it down. And we've got some Heather right over here. And another shorter one here, tall. Okay, so we just have stalks of it here, but they're really thin little stems actually. All right, and then we're gonna put that last little bits of green after we've got flowers on here. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take, and it shows you right here that we're getting cobalt, uh, you, and then a touch of violet pansy. And then you just work that in. Now sometimes, depending on your surface, you might want the white to go down. And sometimes you might want the white to be up. It also depends on what surface color you're using. Okay, I didn't use white going up because we're on a white background. So, and then as we come here, we're gonna make a little loop and a pull stroke, pull stroke, up and back down. So look at these strokes right here. So these are just on the chisel like daisies. All right, all of these. And then some of them you're gonna do one, two right next to each other. Then the others that we're going to be practicing, we're gonna come up and make a little bit of a petal and up and make a little bit of a petal. Okay, so this comes down and around. 
So watch the arrows and see which direction you feel more comfortable with. Up and over and up and over and then chisel, chisel, chisel. All right, now here's some options I shared with you about putting the white up. Okay, so we're right here. Put the white up. So you've done, this is the back petal and but lavender, they're not very big, so I just did it larger so you could see that you could do the back and the front petal, okay? Same thing on here as we go down. They get slightly bigger as they go down. So I'm going to now take my wipe again and clean this off. You're probably still practicing, but I'm gonna clean this off so I'm ready for my project, okay? So I want to remind myself what I'm doing, but I also want to keep these right there so I make sure that I'm doing it and building the flower just like it is there. So Violet Pansy and Wicker White, a little bit of Cobalt U. We're going to work this in. All right, so let's go to the top. We've got little strokes coming in here, and they kind of have, see these separations here? They kind of separate like this as you go down. The lavender does. See, and the white shows. But we got to leave space in between so you can see the green stem. We put some blue in here and there. Okay. Now that's the first stem. Let's do a couple more. Just like those. Now, right before we finish, we might want to come back here and just touch a few spots to make sure that the green's showing or covering where it needs to for the centers, where it attaches. I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember, practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z one stroke floral painting sets. And I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on everybody, let's paint.